I was born August 7th, 1922, out in what was called Birch Creek, now called South Oregon, on Adams Avenue between 20, 37th and 38th Streets. My mother died six weeks after I was born, and my grandparents took me at that time at my mother's dying request. I lived with them the rest of my life until I was married, but my father, who remarried, died when I was seven years old. And I re remember that very vividly. I was 19 years old when I was sitting in our living room out on Porter Avenue, and uh, my sister, Helen, came in with one of her girlfriends that she had arranged to take a, with her on a blind date. And I looked at her and I thought, boy, that's something I want to get acquainted with. So uh, next day I, I got in, I borrowed a car from one of my friends, went up to the where she worked and surprised her so much she couldn't say no, asked her for a date. That started the whole thing off. I chased her so she finally caught me. And uh, we were married. This is funny because she didn't want a big wedding, so we got married in Bishop DeMick's house because she liked the way Bishop DeMick pronounced her name. From the time I was a small child, matter of fact, all my life, I had a undying interest in music. I was always playing the piano in the incident I played by ear. I was composing music. I was dabbling around with music all my life. I went to work as the war started and I couldn't get in the service. I went to work for the railroad the SP company, and during my stay there, uh, the superintendent of the company, who was, his wife was a, a concert pianist, asked me if I would start this male chorus with railroad men. It seems as though it had been such a chorus just before the war, and it had been dissolved. So I started this group up, and it developed into what is now the Valley Middle Song. Uh, this uh, male chorus work has been one of the main interests in my life, really. Uh, it has been the means of two or three of the men in the group getting to the temple. It's been the means of of touching lots of people's lives. Uh, there have been ever so many people come up and compliment me on the activities of the group, the things that I've done in sacrament services and other things we had done for, for and in the church. We've had a very happy and successful very much.